Multi-factor authentication is a multi-step account login process that requires an extra layer of security in addition to a password. This video will describe the process of selecting and changing a multi-factor authentication option when logging in to EdAccess. To log in to EdAccess, go to https colon forward slash forward slash launchpad dot classlink dot com forward slash ddoe. Enter your username and password and click sign in. You will be prompted by a multi-factor authentication setup screen. There are three options for multi-factor authentication, also known as MFA. Option one is mobile. This option requires that you download a mobile authenticator application on your cell phone. A few examples are Google, Microsoft, Authy, or LastPass. Once you download the application, you will need to add an account within the application and then scan the QR code you see on your screen. Once you receive the code, enter the code and click Verify Code. Option two is SMS. This option will allow you to enter a cell phone number and save it. When you log in to EdAccess and enter your username and password, you will then receive a text message with a code for entry into EdAccess. Option three is a PIN. Enter a six digit PIN and confirm the PIN. When entering the PIN, you can click the I in order to see what you have typed to ensure typing accuracy. Then click Save. A sequential numerical sequence will not be permitted. Notice I entered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and it was not accepted. In this example, I'm using numbers that mean something to me, but would not necessarily be known to someone else. Then click Save. Once you have set up your MFA option, you may be prompted to set up password recovery if you have not done so. Click Set Up Recovery. The mobile phone option will allow you to enter your cell phone number so that you can receive a password recovery text message. The Questions option allows you to set up three custom questions created by you to verify your identity for password recovery. Once they are created, click Save. The next time you log in to EdAccess with your username and password, you will be prompted to enter the MFA of your choice. In this example, I am prompted to enter the PIN I created. Once you have set the MFA option and password recovery option, you can make changes to those options whenever you would like. To change the MFA option, log in to EdAccess and use your current MFA option. Once logged in to EdAccess, click the down arrow in the upper right hand corner of the screen and click Settings. The Recovery tab will allow you to change your password recovery options. The Security tab will allow you to change your MFA option. This concludes the video of the process for selecting and changing a multi-factor authentication option when logging into EdAccess.